Hello everybody, my name is Mike from Ad Gaming, and welcome to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So, from the name of that, you know you're getting something that's totally accurate. Now, this is a game that's been around for a little while, but it's actually been released in early access before it was kind of prototype stage, beta, alpha, whatever the hell they call it these days. Oh okay, yeah, I'm going to probably go to the sandbox, although there is a compa campaign, there's an introduction adventure, the challenge. Alright, let's go Sandbox. Sandbox has always been like the place you go for the fun shit. Simulation. Okay. Oh yeah, I have played shit like this before. I think I played a different version. I can't remember what I actually played, but it was very similar. Let me start off with a, an army of clubbers. And I'm, we're not, I guess we're not talking like nightclub clubbers. We're talking like Stone Age, ugh ugh people, right? There we go, 1, 6, 20 on both sides. And one mammoth. Each. They get, they get a weapon, they get a mammoth. So, uh, let's see how it goes, shall we? Can we, yeah, we can, like, zoom right in on it. Obviously, the two mammoths are already locking tusks. And the club men think it's a good idea to shove their heads up the mammoth's asses. Because that is apparently how you defeat a mammoth. It's not by bashing its head in. It's by sticking your club so far up its rectum that it just dies. Yay, the blues won. Well done, Blue Mammoth. I salute you. Okay, okay, let's not do the introduction. I think we know what we're doing. I'm gonna do the campaigns, why not? Let's do the adventure. Okay, there's lots of stuff to do. Okay, Tree Tribe is the first level. Sweet, it sounds awesome. It's basically like club men, right? So what have I gotta do? There's 3,000 on this side. Oh, there's 3,000. Ah, oh, they're hiding in the trees. We have to somehow defeat them. How do we defeat them? Huh. <laughs> okay, maybe we just use like... Hang on a minute, snake archers. Yes. We just get a load of snake archers. All right, is that all I've got? I've got 280 left to spend. Okay, let's get a couple of shield bearers. What have we got, 80? Uh, probably just one farmer. The pissed off farmer who has to deal with these assholes every single day. Come on, guys, you could take them out. Take out the tree tribe club men. Look at them all. Okay, just take out. Yeah, look, look at the snakes. Go, come on, snakes. The snakes will. Oh, rip farmer. Okay, well at least we don't have to worry about the land dispute anymore. That the snakes will die. Did you run out of snakes? I mean, I guess is that you can only have a limited amount of snakes. Well, that's evidently not how we beat this. We have to somehow make maybe an army of priests? Okay, we're gonna have a catapult. A catapult's a good idea. A load of squires in armor. Uh, maybe we would do have some archers. Not the archers and I was gonna say a priest, but maybe a bard just to sing them all a song. There we go. Maybe we can have our own. We could have our own night clubber. Oh yeah, just just the one little dude who's switched sides. Look at him. There he is. He's the informant of the tree people who have brought this f army upon them. I love the music as well. Holy shit. As I said, we do have some art. Whoa! Come on, catapult. Do your job! Okay, that catapult is the biggest load of shit I've ever seen. It is just quite simply awful. Come on! Kill the dude! You have a sword and armor! You can kill a dude with a rock! I mean, he's not Dwayne the fucking Rock Johnson, is he? Um, Bard! We won! I mean, I think only our, our catapult and two archers survived. What are we, sh we, are we shooting bodies? We are, yeah, we're, we're, we're shooting the bodies. A hay and pitchfork level! Okay, so what have we got to defeat? We have a bunch of... What the hell are they? A catapult again. A single catapult. Bunch of squires. Couple of archers. A priest to bless us in battle! What have we got? 230 left? Maybe some halflings. They could lead us into battle. There's Bilbo. There's... Dildo. And there's... Froggart. That's what they're called, right? We don't need to spend the 50 points. We have Frodo, Dildo, and Frogger on our side. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. 
Whoa, that was a good shot. Oh, catapult. You absolute bloody beauty. Do something. Oh, yes. That catapult is worth its weight in bloody hobbits. Next level, obviously, we're going to need a catapult and a priest to bless our sacred catapult. We're obviously then going to get they're basically just what hay balers again. And what are these dudes? They're not dudes, they're apples. Or, hang on a minute, apples go on trees. They're tomatoes. Okay, they're, the guys, they're tomatoes. Tomatoes are fruits. Just in case you didn't know that. Bilbo, Dildo, and Frogger, who are going to be led into battle by three shield bearers and two berserkers. Either side. Rah! Okay, we have 90 to spend this time. 90 is a good round number. It's not a round number, but we could use it for good. When I say good, I mean we're, we're still going to be... We can buy a head butter! Lead us into battle, you clever bastard! Did the hobbit survive? It's very hard to tell what's going on. I think we're winning. That dude's pissing off. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're going to the afterlife. That's where you're going. Oh, there's also a scarecrow. Okay, well, I seem to have found the perfect setup to defeat these absolute bastards. Whoa, okay, this is a different level. Final Destination Halfling, it's called. Why, what have we got? Oh. Are there literally two halflings? Is that is that all we've got? We have to defeat two halflings. It's obviously Bilbo and Dildo's evil twin brothers. It, I think one's called Rolly and one's called Poly. How about one headbutter versus two halflings? I mean, it might work. It might go horribly wrong. Let's try it out anyway. Go on, headbutt. Take out those bastards. Hang on a second. He survived the headbutting. And then the, the headbutt chucked himself off and killed himself. Because he couldn't bear to face those horrible, horrible halflings. Oh man, I wish I could afford Zeus. Or a Minotaur. That'd be freaking amazing. Okay, how about a spear thrower? There we go. One spear thrower versus two short fat people. Go! Stab them in the face! Come on! You can beat the short fat man! Come on, spear thrower! Come, don't let him pick you up! He shouldn't be that strong! What? You bastard! Okay, evidently we're gonna need a melee unit to do this. So maybe a squire. A single squire! The knight who says... Nah. Those hobbits are fucking ruthless! Oh my god, they're vicious! They've got a vicious streak a mile wide! Oh, we won! How? How did we beat those vicious little bastards? I'm not gonna complain, that was amazing. The smallest- Oh my god, now we've got an army of hobbits. Oh, shitting hell. Can I just put Zeus on the battlefield? Zeus versus a bunch of hobbits. And maybe he needs some protection. So he needs some shield bearers. There we go. Zeus and a bunch of shield bearers. Against an army of small fat people. Go! Come on Zeus. Be worth your weight in gold. Oh yes. Use your epic lightning power. Look at those hobbits! Holy shit they're bloodthirsty! Well done, Zeus, though. You freaking owned them all. Okay, what have we got next? Oh, no, run away. It's a bunch of bards. Um, can bards actually do anything? I don't think bards can do anything. Oh, no, I need, like, one... I've only got 100 to spend. Oh, shit. Oh, we, we've got to put a single squire against them, then. The Black Knight always triumphs! Come on! Come on, you pansy! Why are they just on the... Why are they just hanging on the cliff? Dudes, what are you doing? The Black Knight is coming to get you! Just... Just end it now! Just jump off the cliff! Do it! Do it for Queen and Country! 
They, they are literally just killing themselves. Good on you, Black Knight! Okay, this is a little bit of a tougher little exercise. Now we have a bunch of tribal arseholes, and whoever the hell that is. Some shaman or something? Okay, I think it might be a chieftain or a bone mage. Let's have a look. He is a chieftain. No, he's a bone mage. He's definitely not a stoner. I don't see any weed on his person. Okay, well... We've got the king. It's literally the king. His two closest knights. Sir Bedivere. Sir Lancelot. Sir not appearing in this film. And Steve. And King Arthur. Against a bunch of bloodthirsty savages. And a fireplace. My money's on the fireplace. Oh man, it's all about to go down. Holy shit, that bone mage. Come on, knights. Do it for Camelot. I know it's a silly place. But do it for Camelot. Oh, yes. We shall yet find the grail. Okay, final destination club. There is literally a single clubber. Is, is it literally a single clubber? It is. It is a single clubber. So then, can't we just put a squire against him? Go 1v1 in a battle to the death. In a battle for my eternal glory. Go, Black Knight. Earn your stripes. I mean, I understand that the clubber has a better hairstyle than you. But he now also has a broken spleen. And I'm pretty sure you could defeat someone with a broken spleen. Come on. Finish him. Finish him, man! You can do it! Yes! The Black Knight always triumphs. What the hell are these dudes? These are chieftains. These are chieftains. Okay, so they, these are called Sitting Bull. Sitting Bull ship, more like. Hmm, a long ship. Okay, a Viking long ship. That sounds like a good idea. A Viking long ship and five squires. Can they defeat the chieftains who are evidently pretty pissed they've been on the swarts it's copper bag all right hashtag not sponsored don't mind being sponsored though i love this stuff okay long boat long boat um, i think they are actually pissed i think they have actually been out on the lash Because they're not doing anything. Um, I think that stone dog is doing more than these dudes are. How are they? How are they doing it? Two of my dudes are dead. How did two of my dudes die? They literally didn't do anything. Okay, this one's called bread and butter. I'm assuming it's like a, a actual battle. So we're going to need to actually think about this properly. I mean, I think we're going to need, you know, Bilbo, Dildo and Froggart back again. Maybe a group of squires, three archers and three shield bearers to lead us into battle. Although they have a lot more than what I've got. How... how Maybe I should have gone with something a bit more expensive. Let's try it out. I mean, I'm willing to put my monies on the halflings. Because some of their dudes just literally just killed themselves, so. This is... This has not gone well. It's still possible to win. It's not possible to win. Okay, okay, okay. I think... We're going to need something pretty meaty to defeat these bastards. Let's go for... Okay, when I say meaty, I mean sheer fucking numbers. Let's just... That, that's not as many as I thought I was going to get. Okay. Okay, how about a bunch of... Br uh, how about a bunch of berserkers? Can I just put a load of berserkers on the battlefield and win that way? I mean, we have enough for a halfling. A single halfling. It's obviously Dildo Baggins. 
No, wait, that's his brother. It's Dildo Slaggins. Come on, Berserkers. And Dildo Slaggins. Oh my god, those Berserkers are mental. I mean, it's clues in the name. Dildo Slaggins, what are you doing? Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Where are you going? Where the fuck do you think you're going, mate? The Berserkers will get you. They could jump quite far. He's like, please don't go. <laughs> Oh, this dude's so epic. He doesn't even have to look at his kill. Just axes him from behind. Okay, I think this will be our last one for today. So it's called Only Dual Wielders. Huh. I mean, I do like the Berserkers. So maybe we could just... Go for an army of Berserkers. That's pretty cool. Oh, and a single... And a headbutter, obviously. Come on, then. There wasn't enough room in this army for dildo slaggins. Berserker fight! I can't tell who's winning. It seems pretty even to me. Where are you going? The fight's over here. It doesn't matter. We won anyway. We didn't need you, you useless shit. He's like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Okay, okay. I lied. That's not the last one. We might as well go Final Destination Farmer. And just see how this goes. I'm going to put my money on a head butter. I think the head butter has the best chance against the farm. Yes, he does! Holy shit, that was amazing. Okay, now I'm going to leave this here for today. Let's go back to the main menu. We are actually not that far into this. Look how many levels there are so far. And that is just an adventure mode. Holy crap. Okay, well, as I said, this has been Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. It's a fun little game. If you want to see some more of it, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to new daily videos. And I'll see you again soon.